One of your superpowers is a made up mind. One that is fully persuaded to get it done every single day, no matter the task. See, each day we are presented with a series of conflicts between the right way and the easy way. You can't have the throne until you are willing to remove yourself from the seat of convenience. And for some of you, what I want you to do is throw something on a wall. Every time I see you, I say the same thing because I think we overcomplicate it. It's the power of the choice, the power of using the people around you and not being afraid of failing, but being afraid of not trying. And maybe your dream's big, good, go after it. And maybe you don't make it because it was way out there, but you pursued it. And maybe there was something that happened that you didn't quite get there. But I promise you this, if you shoot for a star and you're all in with your effort and your heart and your attitude and your energy and your commitment, you may not land on that star, but I can guarantee you, you'll land on the moon. And the truth is you're still in space. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. If you're going to get to the next level, you're going to have to give up something, right? You're going to have to give up something. And I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. When I say give up, when I talk about sacrifice, I'm saying give up your current blessings. Like this going to be hard. Give up the current blessings. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I had to make a sacrifice. Can you hear me? I said get back up. Because this life is not done with you. Your dream is not done with you. Doubt is not bigger than your purpose. Fear is not bigger than your purpose. Insecurity is not bigger than your purpose. Your purpose is everything. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. This world needs you to achieve everything you got on the inside of you. This world needs you to be you. But in order for you to be you, we got to have you to rise up. I'm here to rise. I came here to conquer. Every morning when I wake, I see that sun rise up. And I want you to be just like the sun. Every morning, I want you to rise up. Follow through and finish. If the day's going to be good, I got to heal from the mistakes that were made yesterday. And I've got to believe that I don't have to make the same mistakes. It's time to heal. Today I heal. Today I heal. From every mistake that is made, today I heal from everything that I said that I could have said better and everything that was said to me that I wish was never said. I heal today from the people that pushed me verbally but did not support me physically, that were never present. Today I heal, I heal, I heal. I heal from what I did not have. After we heal, we have to acknowledge, coupled with that healing is what went wrong. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. Get it back. Oh, you got to fight for the baby that lays in your soul, that burns your chest.
Because if you don't feel this fire, then it's not a dream. You feel like you'll do 120%. You'll give everything you have and it still won't be enough. I feel you. I was there. A part of the milestone is, what if I give everything and it ain't enough? What if I put my whole heart, my whole mind, my whole soul into it, DT, and it's not enough? What if I do it and I fail? You got to face your fear and you got to do it anyway. If you don't get up when the count is at nine, You don't want it enough. We end well so we can begin well. Every single one of you, you're a one of one. Some of you have got to begin to throw that thing against the wall. And some of you just got to begin to believe. Even when it's painful, even when we're ostracized, even when we're excommunicated and ghosted, it may hurt, but that pain will subside. And I gotta believe it, so I gotta stay focused. Focus goes where energy flows. Every morning when I wake, I see that sun rise up. And I want you to be just like the sun. Every morning, I want you to rise up Follow through and finish. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I will be immune to the pain that is attached to my purpose. I will not be stagnant. I will not stay stuck in the mud that you left me in. I will evolve. I will rise. There's going to be days when it seems like it will never happen. The dream will never manifest. The money will never come. The cause will never come. But you gotta fight for something more than material. Look, I finished my coursework. It took me two years. Why? Because it took me two years to get over the fear. It took me two years to get over the anxiety. It took me two years to finally say, Goliath, here I come. Goliath, you might be taller than me. You might be bigger than me. You might be stronger than me, but I'm coming. And I'd rather die trying. I'd rather die going after this dissertation. I'd rather give everything I got. I'd rather give a year. I'd rather put in work than fail and not try it all. I see all things working for good. I see you stepping into everything that God has called you to do. I see you stepping into purpose and stepping into the plans that God already has laid out for you. This is your day. Get up and conquer your day. Get up, get up, get up. You've got a day to conquer.